into a very, very, very interesting uh, uh, topic we have today. I've been looking forward to this. Uh, I don't want to waste any more time. Let's get into it. Uh, this morning we are going to be talking about, um, not particularly the gold diggers. We don't want to uh, belittle our conversations to that. But uh, we want to find out why marriages are breaking up so fast. The Bible says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. But to some, this is the beginning of their problems. While in the marriage situation today, many, many marriages are breaking up before their first anniversary. Is it that uh, couples have failed to see the red flags during courtship? Several reasons are often cited for these marriage breakups. One of them being, I didn't know she or he was a gold digger. This morning, we ask, what are those signs and how do you deal with them before it's too late? And uh, the usual suspects are here. In studio, I have Mr. Stephen Langer, uh, the Executive Director of Family Life Network, and Mrs. Uh, Zaitun Chikachama, a professional counselor. Good morning. Nice to have you. Good morning. Again. Yeah, great to be here. So, um, <laughs> again, these days, marriages have become problems. Uh, there's, um, there's one that has been going around, making rounds on social media. I don't know ah, if you people are not so much on social media, but I, I, I'll share this with you. Um, girl says, uh, uh, I, honey, I'm going out. Man says, no. Then girl says, uh, uh, have you paid the cows? Have, uh, have, you, have, have you brought the cows? No. Have, um, uh, have people, ooh, 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 ooh? Yes. no, wow. I'm going out. So wow. this is during courtship. Wow. So um, that says two things. One is that during courtship, uh, this man, for him to be able to have a position, a stand in this relationship or this courtship, he has to first uh, pay the cows and all that mm -hmm. for him to be able to tell her, please stay home, for her to abide by that. Of course, that doesn't happen even when she's married to you. You, you, you don't suddenly um, become the gatekeeper. Uh, but that on the other side, the lady also feels like, unless I am married, it's the only way you're going to tell me what to do. So first of all, gold digging is something that we have now gotten used to. They're, they're, they're there. Uh, they're gold diggers. Uh, we, as much as we don't want to uh, accept it. And uh, there are different Perhaps forms. it's good to define it so people know okay. what it is. What, yeah, what first, it is. let's define yes. who a gold digger really is. <laughs> exactly. Uh -huh. Now, according to uh, a little research I did, uh, a gold digger, let's say, is a lady who uses her sexual attraction to gather uh, gifts, wealth. yeah, wealth, or uh, increase her social status. Oh. Yeah. So you use your physical assets to gain, uh, you know, uh, gifts or, or whatever, or a husband or a wife. Wow. I would say yes. How how do we how do you tell? Well, this wait, wait, is but first, I need to take you back. I, I think I need you to rewind and um, say this again. And I want you to add the men to okay. this conversation as well, because uh, I was told yesterday it's not only the ladies that are gold diggers. That's right. Men are there as well. Yeah, That's even true. men. Mm -hmm. Even the men. So, yeah. how do you tell? How do you tell that he or she is a gold digger? How? Time, time, you know, we say in uh, courtship, time is a big asset. If you give it time, somebody's true colors will come out. Uh -huh. Yeah, the problem is that people usually rush into things, you know, rush into decisions, rush into making a commitment prematurely before doing due diligence. Because you need to do proper due diligence before you really uh, zero in on someone. And you need to reduce the expected and the reality. Because you have, you have these dreams, you know, when you meet the person. That's expected. But then, what's the reality? So you, courtship helps you to reduce that gap, so that by the time you make the commitment, you pretty, know, pretty much know who you, are, who, who you are dealing with. <laughs> but if you don't do proper due diligence, then here you have this you know, expectation. You are in your own dream world, and yet the reality is way, way, way down here, but you're not aware. And they're not taking the time to do due diligence. That's, so, right. That's yeah. easier said than done. Yeah. Ah, yeah. this my, I always call myself and the rest of the public or the rest of mankind that we have a creator uh. who has put all the methods, all the, 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 the procedures for us before he created us. God gave Adam Eve before Adam did not request for Eve. You know that? Adam did not write an application for a companion, but God noticed that Adam needed a 
companion. So it means we cannot put the godly effect out of this relationship. But the gold digging and the gold digger, those are connotations. Okay. Because between me and Semantics. my... Yeah, those are words that sometimes, you know, take us out of what is happening. Between me and my husband, what goes between me financially on mon in a monetary fund is unlimited. Okay. It's unlimited. Because what we do for each other has no price. But the confusion, like you've introduced in the beginning, where does marriage start? Exactly. Because marriage is when you get authority on each other. Uh -huh. Before marriage, yeah, you don't have a say on anybody. You don't. But the problem today is we are confusing the courtship, the fornication, the, the, the. And we, when you are with a girl, you think you are married. So wh why is the problem? Is the problem fornication? Is the problem... Uh, the pros? problem is confusion. You need to know, you and David, what are you to each other? Because before you're married, you're not my husband. Exactly. So you have no authority over me. Absolutely. And then, how can I gold dig you if I'm not your wife? Absolutely. I have, you have control over your wallet. So, so the problem is human beings are becoming worse than animals. We were talking about that before. Human beings are refusing to take their status. We are supposed to think, we are supposed to act, we are supposed to make decisions, resolutions, right, better than the rest of the nature. You understand? So if you are a boyfriend to a girl, this girl whose parents you've not even seen, she can do anything she no wants right with you. Her. You have no right over her. Mm -hmm. Similarly, even if you if uh, you've decided to live together with no blessings, with no permission from anybody, and you want rights of a husband. Mm -hmm. So before we start this program, we have to understand that marriage has a procedure. Do, you're not going to make fornication marriage. No. So what are we talking about here, David? Are we talking about before marriage or marriage? Because no, but what you described, David, mm -hmm. is uh, a situation where you've put the cart before the horse. Mm -hmm. you know? Yes. Usually the horse should be in front and then the cat and comes the behind. Cat but now we are reversing things. You're already staying as married people and you and expect you want to the rights of married, married people. people. It's a confusion today yeah. and we are going to suffer. So in other words, you people are telling us we shouldn't give these girls any money. No. Ever, ever. Nothing. If um, we gift, we can talk it. You can talk it. You can lower. L listen, uh, listen. Courtship has a process. Uh -huh. When you are courting me, mm. there are things you do that will you, you want me to accept you to become a, you know, a lifetime partner. Yeah. Uh, okay? So the things that are done... due diligence what I was talking about. Exactly. Yeah. But the problem today, people are mixing these things. You want sex before uh -huh. marriage? Marriage, we don't have sex before marriage. Okay? <laughs> the minute you start having sex, then probably you're going to start tokening, giving big things because you want this person to stay. But this person is not here. And the other problem is that you are going to blur your decision making. You are not going to be objective at all. Because already you've mixed things, you've already mixed emotions in there, you've mixed your sexuality inside there, you are no longer thinking right, you can't make a rational decision because you've already blurred it. And that's why we're having the problems that we are having today. today. So, so clearly, David, as we, we continue, I want to remind everybody out there, being with somebody, even though you're so much in love, even though you have children, the minute you're not blessed by your parents, you are not blessed by your creator, they are going to go dig you, huh? They are going to, t of course, even wives can, can you know, steal can, from their husbands. Yes. But that is, um, it's kind of legal. You know, it doesn't make a lot of noise. But if uh, I'm with you and you, you are telling me you love me and then I'm like, okay, I will see, you, show me. you know. So you have to put in a lot of money. Yet uh, my husband can move out of the house <laughs> without even leaving a coin. That's right. And, and I'm, no I'm okay. Yeah. But if you take me for a debt, huh? and then, you know, we finished eating and, and then you go away without giving me like something, I'm like, this guy has a problem. Wow. But my husband yeah. leaving my home without a coin on, you know, the yeah. kameza, I'm like, probably he doesn't have today. Yes. Tomorrow he won't. Get. So. There is that. So it's so confusion. Yeah. It's a lot it's of confusion. confusion. It's a lot of confusion. How, how, how do we get over this confusion? I think we need to, you know, first things first, you know, foundations. And I like foundations. Um, before you build anything, you need to know on what foundation are you building it. Mm. So people need to build on the right foundation of understanding what marriage is. And if you're going to uh, have a good foundation, the first thing you need to do is to understand who you are. Who am I? What are my values? 
what am I, uh, my position in life, where am I going? You need to understand that first before you try to get anybody in your life. If you don't know that, then anybody can be a candidate to you and they may not fit you. But if you know who you are, you know where you are going, you know where you are heading, then you can see with this person, will we match, are we compatible in this um, in, 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 the, in this uh, vision that I have. And if that's the case, then you know. The problem today is that people are just looking at the physical. You only see a pretty young person, you see a handsome and man. Wallet. Yeah, someone the wallet, this one has a husband, has, has whatever, and those are not good. Those are the times that we live in today. Yes, but. These are the, 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 the times we, we. You are not going to ask these young men who are looking for wives not to have. Um, if, they, if they want happy marriages, they are going to have to change. The, the, they are you know, to change. Um, um, there are things that don't change. You might change and become yes. a man who wants to marry men or woman who wants to marry uh, women, but there are but things that do not change. Absolutely. Emotions, especially the sexual, the, 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 the you know, the, between the, the sexual attraction, yeah. those things don't change. Those ingredients, it's not us who created them. They are inside us, I, like I told you. God gave Eve to Adam without Adam's request. It's God who noticed that Adam needed a woman, and he brought a woman. So he, he, what is happening in there is already there. It's a foundation, it's a principle. The way you're going to manage your things is now the problem. Right. Because we know that you are supposed to get married. But what do you do when you're going to get married? That is standard. Actually, it's cultural, it is religious, it doesn't change. You're supposed to see your girl's parents before you have her. So today, uh, people uh, are having people's daughters. Before. Before. Yeah. What do you expect from a girl who is sleeping with you without the parents knowing where she is? Exactly. What do you expect from her? This is a thief. She's hey, moving at exactly, night. Exactly, yes. yeah. Yeah. Hey. I don't know why people yes. are... We are sleeping with thieves. Burglars. Yeah. Not but thieves. Those are bugglers. Because you are. Do you? Do you? You, you that's think of there is a yeah, that's girl, This illegal. is a girl of 21, 23, 25. She's under her parents, you know, protection. But she has stayed with you from Friday up to Sunday. How about, the one, parents, how about the one that is not under the, the, the parents' uh, protection? She's yeah, like we know they are in Kampala. They even have their then, they are, you are having that illegally. Yeah, I mean, that even that. makes it worse. It's unfortunate. This is what the world is coming to. Yeah. But a woman is a woman and a man is a man. The minute you meet a girl who is fending for herself, <laughs> that, is a, that is a person who is not easy to live with. She's looking after herself. She feeds herself. You know, she pays her apartment. She pays her car fuel and, you know, saloon and everything. What do you expect from her? So, in other words, we should run away from those people. No, 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 we no. Run away. I don't know we, no, we no, should no. If we run away from no, them. Just those, need... those are bugglers. They are no, going to no, steal no. Our, our, our money. No, I think you just need to put things in context, and you need to know that uh, what makes a good man. Because we are, we are, we are, you're asking, what is it that makes a good man? What makes a good man is a standard. It's not something you can, you know, make a shortcut here and then you expect to get it. You won't. And that's why we are coming here in the studio, to help people know what are those things that you need to put in place so that you can actually... Go find good. her parents. Yeah. Go find if she's in an apartment and she's staying together. Probably the parents are in Barara and she's working here. That is understandable. But if she's here, probably she's not yet bad. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, mm. If I meet Madame uh, this evening as I go home... And she's nice. And I she like her. Nice and, uh, her. Of course, the physical attraction is there. Yeah. Yes. I um, get her number. Yes. We talk for a day or two. Uh -huh. Yes. And then I'm like, uh, I think I really like you. Uh -huh. I think we should go for a date. Uh -huh. But before we go for that date, can we please go and meet your parents? Do you think no, that, no, is, no, no, that is no, very no, no. fast? No, 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 no. no. I think you've taken. Yeah, I think you've taken it. Okay. Uh, now let's let yeah. the, the right met, context. Yeah, let's go for a date. Yeah. Then you go for, when you go for a date, what is the purpose of that date? Uh huh. Yeah. That date should be to help people know each, each other. other. Yes. Okay. And take time. Know your background. Know your interests, and vice versa. And courtship. It's supposed to be a period when you check out, are we compatible enough to go for the long haul? 
Okay. Or are we... So what happens in this quite. courtship? Is it just, you know, going out on dates, going out on trips, no sleeping with each other? No, I, of course, yes. sleeping with each other. Uh, that, eh. I, I can even stop on that. Eh. People who have slept with each other before marriage, that is the biggest curse to a marriage. Yeah. It is yeah. the biggest curse to a marriage. Yeah. Most of us who are having issues in our marriages, it's because of sex before marriage. before marriage. Because it is the biggest disrespect to God. It is the biggest disrespect to our parents. The minute you start your marriage, to each other, to, to each, each other. other. You know, people are now used to, you know, it's how can I have, you know, get her into marriage with, before me testing. But it is the worst, it's the worst way of opening the door. But you are talking about what do we do in courtship? There are so many things we so can do. So many things. First, as long as you know, first and oh, foremost, he things. has mentioned, you know what you want, and now you've seen it. You don't want to mess it up. Exactly. You don't want to mess what you've got. You've got this phone. You want it, and then you break it in Before, uh, as, yeah. as you're checking. Let me say that one. You've not even paid for it, and then you break it. So, so what do everybody? She's going to be yours. He's going to be yours. You are going to have well, all if, the if, time. If, if we, if 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 I don't have it with her, some other guy is going to it's do okay. that, and then I'm going to lose her. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. do you want me to die a virgin? Now, look, look. You die a virgin. What you do? Hmm? Do to a woman what you want somebody to be doing to your, your sister, your, yeah, to your sister or your future wife. Would you want somebody to you know be sleeping with your wife now and that kind of stuff with your sister anyhow? No, you don't want. You want them to take her in honor, with respect. That's how you want it. David, you shouldn't be worried of being left. I, I should be. I don't no, want to no, die. You shouldn't I don't be worried because one thing is for sure: if you are a slut, you're going to get married. Absolutely. For a slut. And that's what's happening. If you are a virgin, you had better look for a virgin. Yes. If I don't find one, then I'm going to be a virgin. No, 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 they are there. I can help they're you get there. one. Oh, you can help oh. there. Unfortunately, but, uh, we, are, we, we, we can't. Um, mm -mm. Let's do that okay. after the program. No. <laughs> what but do we anyway, virginity, yeah, but virginity, uh, the other thing is that there are people also who have realized uh, they've come to their senses yeah. and have decided to. To become yes. chess. And that's okay. okay. So that yes, is secondary okay. virginity. So, okay. exactly. so, okay. so, so let's, um, let's, to, let's take a, a look at a relationship that is already there and um, they have made those those those, those mistakes yes. like you said mm. you, you know you've cast yes. your relationship yes. even before it starts by you know involving yourself in those activities yes. so what happens from that now that I, I understand from you mm. that I've cast my relationship right how do I put it right you can no, but first and foremost you should stop having sex okay yeah. and then you should find a route of going and getting on and making your this woman honorable yeah. you start exactly. making a route of going to her parents exactly. so that this does not come back later to you because what we do now tomorrow our kids are start going they're going to Absolutely. get over the fences and we are going to die because you're like I did this now my daughter is doing the same yeah. what it's you want to because itself. it's funny people forget that what you do now is going to just come around because what goes Absolutely. wrong comes round. There's, things don't change. No. So you have to get this relationship in your hands. Sit with your sweetheart. You've realized that she's the person you exactly. want in your life. You've and realized you've, that you've cut She's this the relationship. person yeah. that you want as much as you've made the mistakes. Time okay? to make it right. But now you want... It can a, be put right. You know what? It I think we right. are doing this the wrong way. But it's never too late. How do we make it uh -huh. right? And from that time, you start to do start. the right thing. Will you start with looking for her brother oh some close relative a male relative you go see this guy and you're like you know what i like this sister of yours and i want to take her to my home i think the procedure is very clear you know it you go to your cow, brother cow you go to your auntie so that the wool 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 cow, cow, yeah the cow 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 and you know when that thing's done then a marriage starts on a firm foundation which can because stand David, the you've time. not paid yeah. anything, and so this girl is like, okay, so this guy is not serious. So let me start. Getting, things for let free. me start getting the cows okay. somehow. Okay. But uh, look, you've mentioned something. This girl sleeps with somebody else, and I'm keeping myself for her. Mm. First of all, wait, wait. Is this bigger than what you want from her, or oh, she has made a mistake? Mm. Are you ready to live with her when she has slept with uh, somebody? And uh, you know, if you leave her, you won't die. Wow. Okay. The gold uh, digging, the gold digging. Let people be gold dug. I like this. <laughs> Let them, because if you're not responsible, mm. people are going to do irresponsible things. I'm going to give you both a role here. Mm. Um, I'm going to start with you, um, um, Zaitun. I want you to talk to the girl out. I, yes. I don't know, should we do it the other way around? Should you talk to the boys? 
and he talks to the girls? No, no, no. Let her talk to the women. I'll yeah. talk to the men. Okay. Uh -huh. You talk to the women out there, yeah. the gold diggers, mm -hmm. one, and then those that are in those relationships that need to make it right, or those that want to get into relationships that should be right. Mm -hmm. Talk to them. All the girls out there, if you are messing with some boy out there, it is you who is the loser. Most of the time uh, in illegal relationships, it's girls who lose the most. Because the boy somehow is, is never affected, especially physically. Mm. So most of the boys are out there hunting for, for this girl. And once they get you, it's like he's done with this, so he wants the next. The only way you can, you, you can serve yourself is to hitch is to get married to that guy that you think is now nice to you. You think he's good to you. Get married to him. Don't give free sex. Exactly. Don't give yeah. free sex. Because when you give free sex to David today, it's like, okay, this one is done. Who next? Yes. You are training him yes. that he can get it easily, so he gets yours and then he wants Goes the next. For some, some else. But what happens in marriage? There are people cheat in marriage, but what happens in marriage? If you want sex, you know that it is there at home. Okay. So somehow you will kind of hold it. So the girls out there, please hold it. Don't give it out for free. Uh, Mr. Ma, talk to the boys. Okay, the men uh, out there, you know that you need to be a real man and a real man takes responsibility and by taking responsibility it means that you take that young lady who you've chosen to be yours in honor respect her respect her body respect her people respect everything that's around her by doing the right thing take her in honor let her people know be serious enough and brave enough to face his people, or sorry, her people, and let the, and, 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 and make your intentions clear as a real man who can take responsibility and say, look, I want the hand of your daughter, I want the hand of your, of your sister, so that you are given to her in honor and in public and with celebration. That's the best foundation that you can have for, uh, for a marriage. And then you can have as much sex as you want. And give and, as much money yes. as you want. And if you have sex with her, before, you will never respect her. You will always have the suspicion that, hmm, why did she let me do it? And if she let me do it, maybe she can do it with somebody else. So even wow. after marriage, your marriage is going to be on a, on a, on a, on a fake foundation. So take it easy. Uh, take the time to actually take her up, up in, uh, in honor and you will enjoy the rest of your marriage. Um. I, I think my message to you guys is let's not behave like nutritionists, uh, like these, these, these quotes that we see on Twitter. Uh, Dr. Paul Kassenene tells us to not have a heavy breakfast, uh, eat fruits and uh, water, and you find someone <laughs> seated on Katongo. Let's uh, take these, these notes really serious if we want to get into relationships that will last, right? mm. that will be blessed. Right? Mm. Okay, thank you. Wow. Uh, you people, we have got to die a virgin here. I'm going to blame you. <laughs> it's but, okay. Uh, it's better to be a virgin than have and lots your of heartbreaks. children, breaks. yes, and your children will be happy. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much for Not joining us. This, uh, children. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 later. No, <laughs> when he gets. A counselor. <laughs> and um, yeah, Mr. Stephen Manga, marriage counselor, um, uh, ED Family Life Network. It's always a pleasure and honor to have you guys. Thank you. Uh, thank you really you. give us an insight on what we should do with that. <laughs> Thank you, today and our thank you relationships. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank I can't say both. thank you enough. Um, we have a couple of uh, um, feedback that we want to share with you before we uh, wrap up this show. Let's do that now.